Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Dollar Tree haul day, and it is a sunny, beautiful day. I cannot wait to get back outside, so I'm going to try to get through this awesome, incredible Dollar Tree haul ASAP. I am using one of last year's drink cups, and I am keeping my fingers crossed that the Dollar Tree brings these back because I am obsessed with these cups. I have used them all winter long, all of last summer. I bought several of them. They came in two packs. These were some of my favorite finds of last year, and I'm really hoping that the Dollar Tree does bring them out with the new summer stuff. Uh, the first thing that I want to share with you guys are these Dipping Dots birthday cake popcorn. You guys have seen them. I picked up the birthday cake and the cotton candy popcorn, and I picked up a couple bags of each. My son really likes them. I'm trying to stay away from sugar, so I'm not really eating these, but they're by the brand called Doc Popcorn. So they're a brand name. Chris said that they were actually delicious. So yeah, in this house, everybody in this house loves birthday cake flavored everything. So yeah, they love them. If you see these, definitely pick them up. They're good with, they're really good if you take them and mix them with like nuts and some other stuff and make like a mix. When Chris opened the bag of cotton candy popcorn. I mixed in a small bag of salted peanuts and um, craisins, and it was really a yummy mixture of sweet and savory. So yeah, they loved it. The reason that I brought up my awesome summer iced coffee cup is because I have a bunch of summer items in front of me from Dollar Tree's new summer collection. And I have seen a lot of summer items, but I haven't seen those cups yet, and it's kind of making me nervous. Of course, of course I had a pickup the Trop It Like It's Hot with a Toucan. Of course I had to. And I did pick up a couple of these Toucan plates. Look at how cool those plates are. I love it because it's a family of three like us. And I just love the Monstera plants in multiple colors. I love everything about this print. This print seems to have replaced the Flamingo print. And at first you see the three, the family of three. Isn't that so cute? I literally am obsessed, obsessed with this new pattern. I love it. I love everything tropical. I even put up the, um, do you guys remember when I hauled the plastic, um, do you guys remember when I hauled those plastic backdrops? Sometimes I put them in the backyard, but this time I hung them as curtains. My patio door is open. The palm trees in the picture are swaying. It's like the perfect summer day. My hot tub is open. The pool had a little snafu. I have to get the guy to come back here, but the part is on order and it should be complete. The water is crisp and clean, but my filter's not running right. Nothing works this year. Everything I own broke this year, you guys. But it's like a restart. Little by little, everything will be new and rejuvenated for the new owners of this house. Hopefully, I'll get to live somewhere where it's sunshine all year. Like in this, bring your own sunshine, which is what I have to do sometimes to get through the day because I love hot weather. But I also love this print. Look at those oranges and lemons. They look so tempting and like juicy. I just think that it's such a pretty, pretty pattern. I love the teal. I know a lot of people didn't like this pattern, but I really love teal and yellow together. It reminds me of the Pioneer Woman. So I'm definitely all, all over that. All over it. I love it. Did buy the dish drying mat. I thought about getting several of these to make them into placemats, but... I really love my bumblebees, so those are going to be it for me. I just bought one of these to put underneath the cat dish. I'm always swapping that out. And then, of course, I had to buy the Bring Your Own Sunshine Towel just for show. It's so pretty. And I actually bought a couple of these trays because they're fun to eat off of, actually. You can make, like, your dinner plate here, and it feels like you're eating out of, like, a boat. I don't know. It's just fun. I love the shape of it. I just love the summer of it. It's just so summer. Because it's summer break time and my son is going to be home and he's a teenager and he likes junk food, obviously. I did pick up some junk food. I try not to buy stuff like this, but it's inevitable. I did get some of these El Saboro original guaca chips. They're not new. The At least the Dollar Trees by me always have them. 
But I have to say that I actually really love these chips myself. They're probably my very favorite. This is like the only tortilla chip other than plain organic corn tortillas that I buy at Aldi's that I eat. I really like this chip. It's delicious. And it's a big bag. It's a five ounce bag. Then I picked some of these up for my son. They had like an oops extravaganza. I picked up some of the wavy original potato chips. 2.75 ounce. He'll devour those in a sitting. I picked up some of the no salt chips because I, I think that he won't notice that they're no salt. He'll just eat them. and It's better. At least there's no salt in them. 2.75 ounce of that. And if I feel like having a chip, I'll eat those. And then this is the crab chip. Chesapeake Bay crab seasoning. I showed them in a walkthrough and you guys all said that these are delicious. I've never tried them. So I figured I'd pick them up and we'd give them a try. I've heard really good things about them. So many people commented that they're very common in New Jersey and in Maryland and super delicious. So yeah, I picked up a bag of these. I forgot to show you guys these summer buys. They are BPA free. Look at that lemon print. I love it. And then they have the pineapple and hibiscus. I love that too. And I had to buy the watermelon as well. I figure there are three. They're not really manly, but if we go somewhere and we need drinks, they'll, they'll drink out of them. Probably I'll end up with the pineapple and hibiscus because it's hot pink. And the boys will probably take the lemon and watermelon, but... I couldn't resist them. They're so gorgeous, so festive, super pretty, and you can fill them up with ice. You can even stick them in your freezer. Just don't fill it all the way. I've done this before. Put whatever, like if you're making a drink, let's say you plan on taking iced tea to the beach. You can fill them halfway with iced tea, freeze it, then take it out, fill it the rest of the way, and bring it with you, and your iced tea will be ice cold all day long. It doesn't melt that quick. I love to do that because, you know, they're not double wall insulated, so they don't keep your drink super cold unless you put a lot of ice in them, and that's a way to not water down your drink, and I love to do that. I did pick up a three-pack of these Teddy Grahams. There are a lot of new, I mean a lot, of cake mixes, cupcake mixes, mug cakes, you name it. And if you're trying to fill your pantry and sometimes don't even mind when things expire, because I know that some people don't really pay attention to expiry dates because things are good till after that, um, you can get a lot of really great deals right now in the Dollar Tree. I watched this um, channel of Dumpster Divers. I think the name of the channel is Freegan Frugal. Um, they're zany dumpster diving family. Um, and they call themselves like Frugal Mama and Frugal Daddy. And they don't pay attention to any expiration dates on shelf-stable food. And they're not dead. So I'm going to think that it's possible to eat food that's expired long past its expiry date. But I generally don't do that. These um, are not expiring anytime soon. They're just not a huge box. But I have to say that I don't like the Dollar Tree uh, graham cracker. The little, I don't love the graham cracker cookies that the Dollar Tree makes that come in the bag because lately they now say that they are genetically modified. I used to buy them all the time and love them, but I no longer purchase them because I've noticed that sometimes the bags say they're genetically modified and sometimes they don't. So I just don't buy them at all anymore. Um, these don't say that, so that makes me happy. These are Teddy Graham's Honey Flavor, three packs by Nabisco for $1.25. And I think that Three little snack packs for $1.25 is not a horrible deal. I'm sure that if I go to Costco or something like that, I probably could get a slightly better deal or, you know, look around more for a good sale. But I like to have snacks that I could just toss in my bag and eat with like a cup of coffee or something when I'm on the go with some nuts and maybe some craisins. I love to eat nuts and craisins, but sometimes you just need a little cookie yumminess. And I like these. I love them. They're a brand name. They never let me down. So I was happy to get actual Teddy Grahams at the Dollar Tree. Okay, guys. So these, you'll notice, are already open by the brand Dog Treat Poppers. These are cheese-flavored mini bones. 
The last ones, the peanut butter ones, believe it or not, my dogs don't love peanut butter, but they love anything cheese flavor and they go crazy for these. These have gone over big. Um, they've already been eating them. I have to get another bag. I wasn't sure if they were going to love them since they didn't love the peanut butter ones, but these are a, a brand name. That's the size. So they're not huge, but they're definitely a nice treat. And I mean, it's a good size bag. You get four ounces and they actually smell cheesy, which is kind of funny. And it says gourmet pet treat bakery. Dollar Tree gets stuff from them all the time. It says ethically sourced, sustainably focused, no corn fillers or byproducts, which is kind of good because my dog, not, not Max, Max could literally eat a garbage can and walk away. Mabel, the slightest weird thing and she's sick. So, and they're food safety certified, which I like. I don't know where these are manufactured. These are actually manufactured in Indiana. So there you have it, guys. Maxie. Max, Max just no. Max smells the bag <laughs> open. He like knows that they're here and he's about to pounce. Oh yeah, Max loves these. So that's that, guys. So definitely, if your dogs loved the peanut butter ones, I would dare to say that they're going to absolutely, oh my God, it says four simple ingredients too. These are for real, really good quality, you guys. Well, they are four, four simple ingredients, but they do have wheat flour in them. A lot of, like Mabel, I can give her a little, but not a lot of these. And she doesn't, Max loves them though. They have rolled oats, vegetable oil, cheese, and wheat flour. These are not great but they're definitely a good deal at $1.25, and they do have cheese in them. You can smell the cheese, so that is exciting. I showed these in a walkthrough a while ago, and I bought a bunch of the flat ones. Um, I just picked up the high heel ones just in case somebody I know needs them. I don't really ever wear, like, super high heels like that anymore. My feet just can't hack it. My stiletto heel wearing days are long gone, you guys. My feet are not having it. But um, I can't believe that you can get a Dr. Scholl's super soft insole in leather. Do you guys see that? Real leather. It's like real leather for a buck and a quarter. But I did get a few of the Dr. Scholl's ultra soft leather insoles for flats. I would even love it if they had the men's ones. I would buy the, ooh, these are very nice. Wow, look at that. That is, and they're a little sticky. So that, wow, they actually have like arch support. These are amazing. They feel like a really nice leather bag, you guys. This is nice to put into maybe a pair of shoes if you have a dog that eats shoes. Um and you have shoes that you own that have no insoles anymore because your dog chewed them up, find some of these and, oh, your feet are going to be happy, you guys. These are, these feel really good. I, <laughs> I actually just touched it to my face. It's such soft leather. I can't believe, it really is good leather. I'm amazed that you can get leather insoles for a buck and a quarter at the Dollar Tree because, insoles made of leather on eBay or anything like that are very expensive. And like I mentioned, I do happen to be one of those people that has a dog that eats her shoes. So I've had to replace many, many an uh, insole in my day. So I picked up several of the flat ones. I hope to find the men's one. I have seen some Dollar Tree haulers haul the men's and the ladies. And when I first found them, I thought I had found the men's and ladies. But I suspect that for me, the men's would be perfect because I do have a size 10 foot and my shoes, I like to wear clunky, funky kind of shoes. So a larger insole would probably be best, but I'm happy to get that at any rate. And I'm on the hunt for the men's ones because I have a feeling those I'll cut down and will be perfect. You guys know that I'm very into foot action <laughs> when it comes to the Dollar Tree. I found the Futsuki and truth be told, Pamela called me and was like, look at what I found in the Dollar Tree. And I was like, tell me where you got that right now. I'm going to get it immediately. I don't know that I would have found it had she not told me about it, but I was on hot pursuit of these. And oh my God, 
Do you guys know this is my absolute favorite find ever, ever in my life? This thing brings me nothing but joy. You guys know that I love to like put my feet in a foot bath at night with Epsom salts and put lotion on them, and put socks on them and exfoliate my feet. I'm like obsessed with treating my feet. I abused my feet for so many years that I have a lot of TLC to give back to them in order for them to want to give me more steps in my old age. So I am taking all of the love that I can and doling it out to my feet. But you guys, when I saw the Futsuki, I went crazy because I do have a hot tub and it is my happy, happy place. I live for this time of the year. I've never, ever minced my words about it. My tiny house is the biggest bummer all year round until summer hits because the hot tub is open, the pool gets open, the doors are open. I have a beautiful breeze. This really is a beach bungalow. And in the summer, it comes to life. And I am so happy in the summer. So I have a really large hot tub and it has like a center, you know, you guys know how a hot tub is, but it's a big one. Because when we moved here, we were like, everyone we know is old and we're all going to love sitting in the hot tub. So the, the, the center, like the foot area of the hot tub, I put, and it says not to do it, but I did it anyway, but I'm not going to stand on it in there. Um, it does say, it says, do not use Futsuki in the shower, bathtub, pool, or any surface that is slippery when wet, but... I put the Futsuki in the hot tub and I put my feet on the jets and then I put it on the Futsuki and then I put my feet on the jets and then I put them on the Futsuki and literally I am in $1.25 foot massage heaven, you guys. This is my absolute favorite find of the year of my lifetime, maybe in the Dollar Tree. And I have found a lot of um, as seen on TV products that I found to be amazing. I found... The thing that you clean your microwave with for $1.25, the little thing that screams that you put vinegar and water in. Lots of as seen on TV. I am an as seen on TV junkie, actually. I love, you could sell me anything with a good infomercial. And this does not even need one. This is so, so nice. What it says on here is the reflexology foot massage mat, Futsuki. The 2,800 massaging points on Futsuki are hard and intense. They are designed to provide maximum resistance for your foot massage. When you first use Futsuki, it may be uncomfortable. If uncomfortable, wearing socks is recommended. Well, my feet are not even remotely uncomfortable. I could like put a hammer on my feet and they let... I've done so much damage to my feet that these definitely do not feel uncomfortable. Some people have really sensitive feet, not me. I I am so into this butterfly-shaped Futsuki fun mat for my feet. You guys have no idea. So definitely, definitely do not shy away from the Futsuki. Please, you guys, try it. It's so good. I love it. Love, love it. It has, I, I tried it in the store. I was wearing flip-flops and I was like, looked around and then I was like, and I tried it, and then I put five in the cart. I bought five of them. One is already in my pop-up giveaway for my last walkthrough. So if you missed that walkthrough and you would like a Futsuki, go and check out that video. And those who share my video get five extra entries into the giveaway. So good luck, guys. I did pick up one of these foot, more foot stuff, you guys. Spearmint and menthol scented Epsom salt natural magnesium sulfate crystals with added fragrance. This foot soak happens to be one of my all-time favorites. It says that it comes from Blue Cross Laboratories from Santa Clarita, California. Not necessarily a Greenbrier product. I happen to love this one a lot. There's a lavender one by them as well, but oh my God, this one is so intensely scented um, of spearmint and menthol that it's like aroma. I love spearmint. I love the smell of spearmint. It's like aromatherapy and foot therapy all at once. So I love it. And I also do like to sometimes put it right into the hot tub. It feels great. The next thing I'm going to share with you guys, I showed in my walkthrough is this Hydramate hydration support. You get two packages of drink packet um, for $1.25 that it says it has three times the regular amount of electrolytes. It's 45 calories a serving. But guess what? It doesn't say what flavor it is. 
Perhaps the yellow stripe is an indicator of lemon. I don't know. I've looked a million times. It just says drink mix, electrolyte. Maybe it has no flavor. I don't know. It was in the shaving section of my Dollar Tree because the packaging makes you think that it's like a refill to a razor. Doesn't it seem like a a razor refill for some crazy reason on quick glance. So I picked up some core water. I actually always buy these core waters at my 7-Eleven. These are $3 each. They do run a sale often where they are two for $4, but you know what? $1.25 still saves me 75 cents per bottle. My son needs those. It's very hot in New York. I'm I'm in a tank top dress, obviously, so it's hot in New York, and he's still going to school and walking those hot hallways, so I'm stocking up on uh, this core water often. So I decided I'm going to put one of these electrolyte mixes into the package. I'm going to put one into the water and tell you guys what flavor it is, because I think it's crazy that it doesn't have a flavor, but maybe it is flavorless. We're going to find out right now. I think it's lemon. I mean, it should say lemon though. Do you guys, did you guys like know that it was lemon? I'm not sure, but I think I'm smelling lemons. It's nice actually. It definitely has that minerally, whatever that Gatorade-y, it, it definitely tastes like a lemon Gatorade. So these are lemon flavored. Wow, you know what? My son's gonna love those. I probably will pick up some more of these because he does get really dehydrated at school and it's easier to carry than a Gatorade. And he could always put filtered water from the fridge in these bottles. So yeah, you get two for a buck and a quarter. Not a bad deal, guys. Another incredible food find that I actually was kind of excited about. I don't necessarily love chocolate, but I love, love caramel. And I actually really like these mug treats. They're almost like a warm cup of pudding cake. They're very moist. So... I actually really like them. The Garibaldi ones really got me hooked on them. And yeah, so when I saw that this was a four pack of chocolate caramel cake mixed with caramel topping, I was like, I'm going to try that. And full disclosure, you get four. I actually have three in here because I already had one. You guys, it was actually delicious. Um, they have had them from time to time in flavors that I didn't care for, but this one is amazing and it comes with a huge bag of caramel that I only used half of. So I can probably add caramel to another plain cake like this that I may have. I have some from, I have a few left from other brands. I can use it on another plain one that I might have in my pantry because I do have some from a while ago that are vanilla. So I can put caramel on vanilla. That would be good too. Or I could just put them on my ice cream because it does come with a huge thing of caramel and you get four in the box as well. You can't use all of that caramel on top of your cake. That's way too much. I mean, maybe you can, but I, I thought it was too much. It was way too sweet to put all of it on top of my cake. So these are a good deal, guys. Four of those for a buck and a quarter, I think is an incredible deal. A lot of the time, the Dollar Tree sells one mug treat for $1.25. You just get one pouch in the box. I've bought a few. I actually have a bag in my truck already because I'm supposed to do a drop-off. I found them in two places. These are hair extensions of different styles. They're human hair. And of course, women in the shelters can do hair treatments different hairstyles. It's a good deal, you guys, for $1.25. I don't know how many bundles you need in order to do something, but uh, some of them, when I found more, I tried to get doubles of in case somebody does want them. Let me know if you buy these and how much 100% premium human hair goes for because I felt like these were a good deal. Yeah, like these are the same. So if somebody picks those, I think two bundles will probably do a hair treatment. I'm not sure if one is enough, but I tried to double up as many as I could so that they would be good for donation, but I definitely think that that is an amazing donation. I did buy this. I've never seen this before. It's by the brand Purina, which is a trusted brand name, and it's called Busy Bone, long-lasting, chew, 
It says that it has a moist middle made with real pork on the go, no rawhide. I picked up two for Miss Mabel and Max and th they know, they know that these are, I swear they can smell it because they're like on full alert right now. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how it looks. Look at that. I know that the dogs are going to love it, but look at how cute that is. That is the pork moist middle and they're not rawhide. It says that they're gentle on the stomach and they're a little heart. I just love that. Another item that I was crazy happy to find back on the shelves of the Dollar Tree are these Monte Carlo pillowcases. These are microfiber, um, which means that they don't actually have any cotton content to them, but they are two pillowcases matching in every case. And you guys, they're actually very nice pillowcases. They used to get these in years ago and they make incredible donations. They come in several colors. Years ago, they used to come in prints as well. They had like lipstick prints and all kinds of animal prints. I absolutely used to go crazy when I found these. I still have one like Paisley crazy print set that I still to this day use. It's just so nice to be able to donate two pillowcases in this nice plastic case, which honestly, you could put your makeup brushes in. I've reused these cases. I never throw them away. They come in tons and tons of colors. When I used to have my storage unit and the women would come and shop, but for free, I used to have these in cases and they used to pick whatever color they wanted. Um, unfortunately, still to this day, the shelters are not allowing outsiders in. They've been talking about letting people in, but I am going to be dropping a ton of these off because I bought a ton of them everywhere I found them because they're standard size pillowcases, two for a buck and a quarter. You just can't beat that. And some of these colors are just my faves. I kept a pair like this for myself and a pair like this. And I have a ton in the car as well. They're being donated. I do run a nonprofit. I, I have been mentioning it more lately than usual because at some point, YouTube offers, I guess they offer a thank you button to all YouTube channels, but I think that for my channel, it's specifically exciting because if you're out there and you're watching my channel and you feel compelled to make a small donation, it's greatly appreciated. And just think guys, $5 could have, you know, bought four sets of pillowcases for a family that is being relocated. And that is a really nice donation. So if you are interested in donating to my organization, please go ahead and donate a dollar, five dollars, a million dollars, whatever you can spare. It will ultimately go to donating more and more awesome Dollar Tree buys or other buys from other places. I don't only shop at the Dollar Tree. Whatever I can get a great deal on is what I snag up. So anyway, guys, this is an awesome donation, but also an awesome thing for any household. They're nice pillowcases in amazing colors that can match like uh, you know, maybe you have a great quilt that you love and you don't really have any pillowcases that match it, but for a buck and a quarter, you can. So this is a great deal. Okay. It is kind of weird. I will agree. These fashion toenails, but hear me out. Have you ever just been ready to go out and all of a sudden you look down at your big toe and it is just a hot mess? I mean, everybody notices the big toe. The little toes can be all smushed up and it doesn't matter. But if your polish is smushed up on your big toe, you're a hot mess. You can just slap on one of these bad boys and go about your day because it is a tropical fake toenail. It does have like some pink ones to put on the smaller toes. But I just have this feeling that at some point during the summer, I'm going to look down at my pedicure and my big toe is going to be smashed up. It always happens to me. I'm very clumsy. I'm always bumping into things. I don't want to go out in my flip flops and have my big toe nail polish be missing. I'll just crazy glue one of these palm trees on and go on my merry way. So I think that this is something to keep because, okay, let's say my toenail polish is like pink or a lot of the time it's green or mint green or teal. This will match. Honestly, it's better than having a smashed up big toe. So I'm down with that. I kind of think I won't put it on all of my toes. I would never do that. But I do think that you get a bunch of these big ones and they're perfect for emergency big toe smashed up services. Perfect for that. Then I haven't really been wearing fake nails lately, but 
I'm going to have to for these because these are gorgeous. Look, look at that. Do you guys see that? <laughs> Strawberry, watermelon, and pineapple, and kiwi. Yes, I can just, yes. I am obsessed. Even if I use them as accent nails, I bought a couple packs of those because those are going to fly. And then we have cherries. And seven nail is like, I guess, sassy and chic now. I don't know. But they're the same quality as sassy and chic. I don't really wear them long. I cut them down to the natural size of my nails, so it doesn't matter. And, of course, I had to get the cherry clips to wear in my hair when I have... Look at how cute that is. I'm, like, straight up going to get myself a cherry print dress for this because this is going to be, like, life-affirming. When I have all of this going on plus a cute, like, 1950s-looking cherry print dress, I'm going to be living my best summer life on this day, guys. I can't wait for that day. It's so cute. And then I had to buy these. Look at that. Look at the cute daisy prints. I like to put my fake nails. I like to put fake nails on when I'm ready to get a manicure. Because you come to this point where your nails look like yuck, but you don't want to go out like that. And I usually arrive at the nail salon with fake nails and they can just soak everything off. So that's what I've been doing lately and it's been working for me. So I will definitely use those. But the cherry ones, I'm going to plan around because those are just stupendous. I love that. Lately, I've been buying these. I don't think they're a great deal, but my son really loves them. I don't know what it is about them that he loves, but he loves them. The s'mores dippers, honey graham sticks, milk chocolate chips, and marshmallow cream. Every time I buy them, they disappear. And when he came shopping with me, he picked them out. So obviously he loves them. Now, I'm, if you guys have been following my channel, then you know I have found several BYS items lately that are kind of significant to me because anything that comes in palette form makes me happy. There's highlighters, there's the new Cosmic palette, the new Rebel palette. They were just in my last walkthrough, but I found the nude palette and I have not yet shared it with you guys or swatched it. So I'm going to be doing that today. But first, I want to show you guys the new Electric Jungle line by Ioni. It is a killer line. First of all, I love Ioni lipstick. I love it because it does not go. It's long lasting matte lipstick. The Ioni lipstick literally needs lip scrub to be removed off your lips. If that's not your thing, you might not like this. This time around, I think I'm going to like this color. My favorite is when Ioni makes the red. Every time they make red, I buy several of them because I love red lipstick. But I have a feeling I'm going to like this like mauve color. So let's check it out. It does have a name. It's called Congo Berry. Berry and Congo are its names. On the back of the packaging, it has, I guess, because they do remake some of the colors over and over again. So if you pay attention, even though the packaging is different and the like motif, like the electric jungle is this motif. The packaging is insanely gorgeous. I mean, insanely gorgeous. If your friend likes purples, pick this up, pick this up, make a gift basket, depending on the colors that they like. I have a feeling I'm going to love this, this lipstick, though. I just have that feeling. So we're going to swatch it. The packaging is, you know, Ioni. It's no, ooh, that is a nice matte lipstick, you guys. Look at that. That's almost like the one I have today on. This one is Wet n Wild. It's a perfect pout matte lipstick by Wet n Wild, but I actually love this Ioni lipstick. That's a beautiful color. Yes, yeah, see, I would definitely wear that. I love it. It doesn't have any odor. It smells actually kind of like cake, which I like. I like when I open a lipstick and it doesn't smell like yuckness. I've never had a bad Ioni product. The only thing is that, honestly, this is not going to be gone from my skin for a long, long time. This stuff does not come off easy. If that is not your thing, you will not like Ioni lipstick. I promise you that because I know some people are like, oh, I hate their products. I can't get them off, blah, blah, blah. I love that. I like when I put my lipstick on for it to stay on. Then they have this one, and I feel that that is, I guess that really is more of a berry there because they're calling this mauve. On the back, it says mauve. And on the top, it says Batang Eye. That's the electric jungle name for it. 
But whatever it is, the packaging is beautiful. It has this like electrified cheetah print, reptile print. It's just gorgeous. I really love the Ioni packaging and so does everybody. This is sort of like a bubblegum pink to me. I think that this may not be my favorite, but I'm going to swatch it. Let's see. I wanted to share it with you guys. Ooh, actually, it's a nice matte lipstick. I love mattes. That's the thing. I actually might wear that. That is, I like that, actually. I love matte lipsticks, and yeah, I would wear that color. It's actually a nice color. Then they did make a bunch of lip glosses. This is one of them. It's called Nakon Nayok, I think. I'm not sure. But on the back, it says pink gold. So let's see what pink gold looks like. Actually, it's really pretty. I'm not a lip gloss person, but I definitely wanted to see what this was like. It says it's non-sticky. There, wow, that's a really pretty lip gloss, actually. It's actually a lovely color. They also had like eyeliner, pencils, and stuff like that, but I didn't buy those. They did have two blushes, and I have to be honest, you guys, these blushes are absolutely gorgeous. This peach one right here is screaming my name, and this one is called Baby Rose. They're both really, really beautiful. I don't know which one I like more, so we're going to swatch these. I actually am very excited about these Um blushes. When I saw them, I was like, oh my God, that is a nice blush color. Oh, and I love the packaging. Look at that. Look at that. These, oh, and they fixed the magnet. <gasps> I love it. Oh my God. It says it's buildable and blendable. It goes with my like coffee bar, this electric jungle blush. Wow. This is so nice. This is the baby rose. Look at how gorgeous that package is. Oh my God, for $1.25, that is pure happiness. Let's swatch it. Oh, of course I dug my whole nail into it. I am a disaster. We'll, we'll do it on my other hand. That is the Baby Rose Blush. That's really pretty. Isn't that pretty, you guys? That is definitely a nice summer, sun-kissed, not over-the-top blush. For $1.25, the Ioni products are really lovely quality, and I don't think anybody will be disappointed by them. I, I, in my opinion, I think they're excellent products. And that baby rose is just a nice sun-kissed cheek. But this one, this one I'm going to be in love with. I know, I know. This is the peach blush, whose name is... Loka Dawn, Lokan Dawn, in this amazing neon green reptile print packaging. <gasps> what? And I love, I love that they actually were smart enough this time around to put the name here so that when they recreate this blush in other packages, people will know that that's the shade that they like because they do redo the same colors over and over again. They definitely have resolved their magnet issue. I really appreciate that. So let's let's watch this. Do you guys see this? It's so nice. Perfect for your pocketbook for the summer so you don't ruin your good makeup. I love that. I know I'm going to be in love with this blush. I already know. Look at that. That is that is so gorgeous. It's like a highlighter and a blush. But this line actually has highlighters, but I love that blush. That is that is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Gorgeous. I bought several of these. You guys know I can't help. I can't help it. I put some on because it's really nice. I really like it. I put some on and I definitely love that color. It's gorgeous. They also made mascara again. And I have to tell you guys, of all the mascaras that I've ever gotten in the Dollar Tree, besides the falsies, Maybelline mascara. This is my absolute second favorite. Second favorite because I do kind of love blue mascara. I'm not going to lie, but this is very black. Who doesn't love black mascara? And honestly, it is truly waterproof. It's a good mascara. So I picked up several of these as well. I picked up several of everything for a reason. Then we do have the face highlight and bronzer. 
which I have a funny feeling I'm going to love. Oh my God. You guys just look at that. Just look at that packaging. It is delightful. Delightful. Wow. And I have a feeling I love a good bronzer. It's called Golden Glow. This is the highlight and bronzer, which means it's like a brownish. I wiped, I wiped the other ones off. That one is right there. Do you guys see that? That's beautiful. That is very beautiful. That is everything. Of course, Marina's going to have to put a little, I love it. And they smell good. They don't have a stinkiness to them. That is a beautiful highlight and it's buildable. You could put as little or as much as you want and make it look more extreme, which sometimes is where I go overboard. And then we have Moonlight Glow, which is a face highlight. It doesn't say bronze or anything like that. I think this is probably also going to be an incredibly good inner corner eyeshadow because it's very pearly white. Oh yeah, that is, look at that packaging. Oh my God, I love, this could be my favorite packaging they've ever done. Electric Jungle is super tropical. It says that this brightens and shines. Yeah, I love it. Moonlight Glow. Look at, look at the flower. It's so gorgeous. This one says brighten and shine on the back and it is moonlight glow. So let's swatch this one. Yeah, this is like the perfect, I love it. This is like the perfect inner corner eyeshadow or highlight. It's pearly and magnificent. Oh my God. Yeah, this is perfect for eyeshadow. Perfect. Look at that. What gorgeous. Is that not a beautiful highlighter? I love pearly, pearly white. You guys, I'm sure have figured it out. I can go overboard with it, but I just love it. It makes me happy. And I do love my highlighter. <laughs> so $1.25, yes, thank you. This is a great line, guys. Great line. Of course, I bought a couple of everything because I decided that I wanted to share with my subscribers. So I'm going to take one of these awesome beach bags that I love these beach bags. Do you guys see the green, the hot pink, and the orange? Of course, when I saw these amazing plastic beach makeup bags or whatever, you can put your bathing suit in here, your sunscreen in here, whatever you want to put in here, you can put in here. They're by Sassy and Chic. But when I saw those, I was like, oh yes, this is perfect because I had already bought doubles of everything that I like from the Ioni line. And I've decided that I'm going to do a pop-up giveaway right in this video. And I don't know what color I should do. Should I put them all in the pink one, the green one, or the orange one? I think the pink one. Most of you guys love this hot pink. I have to admit, the hot pink one is my favorite as well. They say beach on one side and they're blank on the other. But the subscriber that wins this pop-up giveaway is going to get this awesome plastic see-through beach cosmetic case with one of everything I just shared with you guys. Two blushes, two highlight, two blushes, two highlights, two lipsticks, and a mascara. The winner of this giveaway is going to get one awesome Ioni mascara in very black, two of these beautiful lipsticks, one in each color, the face highlight and the highlight bronzer, and these two gorgeous blushes. That, I think that that is a very fun giveaway in this awesome beach bag. Plus, the winner of this giveaway is going to get the nude palette that I am about to swatch. So, this is a pop-up giveaway and it is going to be called Electric Jungle. Electric Jungle, you guys. So the winner of this giveaway is going to get one nude palette and all of this Ioni stuff and this fun, fun makeup bag or beach bag, plus one of these that I just found the other day. The winner of this giveaway is going to be 18 years and older. They're going to be a subscriber to my channel. 
They understand that I am giving this to them. It has nothing to do with YouTube. And they're also going to be receiving one of these that I found the other day. Now, this is unscented charcoal body scrub and wash by the brand You Are Amazing. It retails for three bucks, but I know not a lot of you can find it. It's sealed. And I am including it in this giveaway because anything charcoal is always a great product, in my opinion. So I feel this will be really nice for anyone, but it also kind of matches the beach bag. And the winner of this giveaway, since it is a body scrub, and I did buy these that I am obsessed with, you guys. If you have not yet bought one of these back scrubbers by April Bath and Shower, do so. They're incredibly invigorating. You can scrub the back of your thighs with them. They're really amazing in the shower. They're very like a versatile and they get slathered up with the soap and they are wonderful. I really love, love them. I think that the gray one is an awesome gift for Father's Day with, you could get this and this for a man and put it in a Father's Day basket and they can secretly pamper themselves in the shower. But this one's for you guys, and I'm going to be giving the winner of my pop-up giveaway a purple one. It also comes in hot pink, but I just put it in my other giveaway in my walkthrough. If you missed that giveaway, make sure to go see my walkthrough because there's another hidden pop-up giveaway in that one with the hot pink Barbie doll pink one of this. I love these. So the winner of this giveaway is going to get this back scrubber, this body wash, body scrub, I should say, these awesome My Oni products and this beautiful beach bag. I just found so many fun items that I just can't help but share with you guys. And of course, the incredible BYS nude palette that I'm about to swatch for you guys. The hashtag for this giveaway is you are amazing electric jungle. So make sure to put that in the comments down below. You are amazing electric jungle. And let's watch this BYS palette. Of course, you're not going to get this one or anything that I've swatched. You're going to get clean ones. I just wanted to show you guys. I already have one of these in this color, but I just wanted to show you guys that it has like little nubbies on this side and softer nubbies on this side. And it's very versatile. You can put it on the back of your neck. It like massage. This is a great product. It's weird looking but incredibly useful. I really enjoy stuff like this. I really enjoy stuff like that. It's it's just good for your lymphatic system. It's good to wake up those cells that this is a really great $1.25 Dollar Tree purchase. Definitely snag that up, guys. You guys know already that anything by BYS comes like sealed like Fort Knox. So that's case number one. Then it comes with a like sticky seal over it. It does have a mirror underneath here, which I think is amazing. It is a metal case. These cases really remind me of Too Faced palettes. They really, I think, try to dupe them, and they do a very good job of it. I, I really like these colors. I think that it's very nice. The names of the colors are Cream 8, Fancy, Runway, Coco, and Model. Model is the darkest. That one is Coco, Runway, Fancy. The pink one is eight, and the first one is Cream. I just, I'm, I'm always curious to see what the name of a color is. I don't know why, but I am. I love, I always love to read the name of colors. I just took the plastic coating off. There it is. Now let's swatch it. So Model is the darkest. Wow, you know what? Model is, not, it's not like black. It's like a dark very creamy gray. Their eyeshadows are very creamy, very nice. I really like them. I've never been disappointed by them. There it is, all swatched. It does actually come with one that has a brush on one end and one of those eyeshadow batons on the other. I just want you guys to know that underneath this table right now, there is an all-out cat-dog war and everything in the house. I'm going to have to end the video pretty much as soon as possible because the camera is shaking and I don't know what's going to happen next. They're, they're all killing each other, but they're doing it quietly because I guess I've conditioned them to be quiet during my hauls. I'm so sorry, you guys. You're probably ready to throw up from my camera, but what could I do? I can't keep the dogs cooped up all, all day. Um, so this is what it looks like swatched. I absolutely love that color right there. 
isn't that that's it right there it is so beautiful and the one next to it and I actually love that gray this is a gorgeous gorgeous palette it is definitely beautiful I'm so happy to find it and so happy for the lucky subscriber that gets to take this home. It looks really expensive. BYS palettes are impressive, nice quality, very creamy, highly pigmented. I highly recommend them. Don't skip out on those. If you see them, get a few for gifts. They're definitely gift worthy. I love BYS. The last few items that I'm going to share with you guys, and then I have to close this video before all hell breaks loose in here, is this Degree Motion Sense Ultra Clear Black and White 48 Hour Antiperspirant. They've had this before, but whenever they get it, I, I snag it up. It's very good deodorant, perfect for traveling, an overnight trip or something like that. I did score another one of these lip balms that are by Yes Studio. This one is the Cranberry Lip Balm. I do have some packages that I've been meaning to send out, so I snagged another one of those for that. This is Chapstick Hydration in the color Rose Petal. I've never seen the color Rose Petal yet, and this is Moisture Plus Tint. No SPF, but this is definitely a great product. I do have several open right now that I've been using underneath my lipstick, so I'm not going to open it. They're very true to the color on the packaging. When you open it, that's the color you're going to see, undoubtedly, because so far, all of them are spot on, you guys. I love the Chapstick products. They are definitely a thumbs up for me. And I think lastly, another food find by Healthy Choice. I did pick up some of these chicken and dumplings because my son is very capable of making soup in the microwave. That's one of his favorite things to make when he's left to his own devices. So I picked up a couple of cans of the Healthy Choice chicken and dumplings for a rainy day or whatever. And a couple of cans of the Campbell's beef and barley soup. And for what it's worth, Campbell's soup in a can is not $1.25 anywhere. Yes, if you go to Aldi's, you can get some uh, Aldi's brand, which is not bad, but the boys are specifically brand loyal when it comes to their soup. They will drink the healthy choice, but they really like Campbell's. I do not like canned soup, but I can't argue with them. So I did pick up some beef and barley soup. It says ready to enjoy, no water needed. And that's it, guys. That's everything I have to share in this haul. Make sure to enter the giveaway. If you're interested in winning that giveaway, make sure to enter the giveaway. Make sure to be subscribed to the channel. Give my video a thumbs up. Comment down below on what your favorite item in this haul is or anything in general. Let me know anything you feel like telling me about what you found in your Dollar Tree. Just comment down below so I know who you are. There are a lot of people subscribed to this channel and not everybody has said hello because I've never read 8,000 comments in any video. So you guys, I'm well on my way to 9,000. Help me get there. If you want to win this giveaway really badly enough to share my video, everybody that emails me that they've shared this video on whatever social media platform they choose, I will additionally add five more entries um, of their name into my giveaway bin and that way you'll have six entries instead of the one that people that don't share the video get so if you really want to win give it your best try and you'll have extra chances and as always guys stay safe and stay savvy bye bye